What does it mean to be in probate? Hi, I'm Darren Finling of The Probate Pro, and as you can tell by my business name, this is what we do at our law firm, probate work. So let's break it down and understand what probate is all about. First, the concept of probate is that it is a court-supervised process when somebody has died to take the assets, the things they own, and get them from them to their family or their devisees. Let's talk about what items go through probate and what don't. So first of all, people confuse this concept of whether there's a will or no will. We call that testate or intestate. Whether there's a will or no will, the assets still go through probate. So having a will alone does not avoid probate. Now, there are probate avoidance techniques, including the use of proper estate planning documents like a trust that can avoid probate altogether. That's for another video, or if you have questions, you're always welcome to call me, and I can explain how you can avoid probate. Now, any asset that is owned by an individual that dies, that has no named beneficiary or is not jointly owned, but simply is in the individual's name, is going to be reflected in a probate process on the inventory and needs to go through this probate process. So assets such as life insurance that have a named beneficiary or other financial related assets that have a named identified beneficiary that is other than the person that died does not go through probate. Also, a jointly held asset or an asset of husband and wife, that asset does not go through probate. It immediately goes to the survivor of that joint ownership and avoids probate altogether. Also, an asset that has been placed into a properly created trust would avoid probate. But any asset in the individual's name that has no named beneficiary will go through this probate process. Now, the probate process can look different depending on the size of the estate. So a small asset probate may be able to be done in a very, very short, very expedited process. And I've got other videos on short form probate in Michigan and how you can avoid the entire lengthy probate process. But assets such as real estate or assets that are sizable will re be required to go through this probate process that usually takes at least five months from beginning to end. It's a very orderly process that includes the notification to anybody that's named in a will or the heirs of the estate. It includes filings with the probate court. It includes notifying any creditors. Those are the people that the person who died may have owed money to like medical bills or credit card companies. It includes the inventorying of the assets upon which the person owned. And then ultimately, as you make your way through this process, it includes the distribution of those assets to the family or the devisees. Now, the reason I use the word devisees is if there's a will, the money could be distributed outside of the family potentially. Now, all of these steps of this probate process. I've also done many videos explaining the timeline and the step-by-step -step process of probate, and I'm happy to further explain those issues. But probate simply means taking the assets of somebody that died, going to court, the probate court, and going through this orderly process to be able to ultimately distribute the assets from the person that died to the heirs or devisees. If you want further explanation, further detail about these concepts, call us at the Probate Pro, 833-PROBATE, or we've got lots of information on YouTube and other social media, or you can visit us at our website at theprobatepro.com.